Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're making something more healthy because I've been misbehaving with my food, but today we're making a salad. I noticed that I haven't been making that many dressings lately, so today we're making a delicious dressing, like a lemon vinaigrette, some sort of like creaminess to it, and I'm not sure you guys the ingredients we're using today. This is for all of you guys who enjoy something healthy, and for all of you guys who don't, but like to incorporate more healthy stuff, this dressing will make everything taste even better. For the salad itself, I'm gonna use some romaine lettuce that I'm gonna mix with some spinach, organic spinach. I found this and I love power pumps. They taste like the raw ones. They're crunchy in comparison to the ones in can. These ones are crunchier. I got them from Trader Joe's and they're just delicious. I'm gonna add them to the salad as well. I'm gonna make it very simple like I said. I'm gonna add some tomatoes, some avocado, and some cucumber. That's what's gonna be in the salad. For the dressing itself, I don't know why I bought them, but they're so expensive. I don't know why I even bought them. I got this much for $2, pine nuts. Don't get pine nuts, guys. You can always use cashews or sesame seeds or whatever you want. But I wanted to use them because I know they taste really good, but they're pricey. So I'm gonna use some pine nuts for the dressing. You can soak them. I am not gonna soak them. A lot of people soak stuff for digestion purposes, so you won't break your blender, blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I'm just gonna put them like that. We're gonna add some lemons to this recipe because it's like a lemon vinegar. I couldn't find fresh basil and fresh parsley, so I'm gonna use dry parsley. It's cheaper and dry basil, cheaper as well. And I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard. I got this organic one. This one just has like organic vinegar, organic mustard seed, sea salt. You can always just add all those ingredients if you wanna make it from scratch, but I'm not. I'm gonna add some pepper and some salt. Yes, and you can use any kind of salt. And you can replace it with arugula, kale, whatever you like, guys. Let me shop all the ingredients and I'll show you guys what I put into the blender, just in case I change an ingredient or something, or if I add something else that I didn't mention here, and we'll give it a try at the end, okay? I'm really excited because I love my salads. I do like my curry and my rice and my burgers and all the good stuff too. Let's make something delicious right now. guys it's ready I'm gonna give it a try let's see what this is missing I feel like it's missing something like like oil mm. it's really good but I think I'm gonna add some olive oil let's add the oil and a little bit of water and I'll let you guys know okay ready let's give it a try mm. yeah better it's ready just look at this it smells really good if you like mustard you're gonna love this and lemon or lime you're gonna enjoy this so much mm -hmm. just what I wanted for tonight it's really good guys it's like just it has so much flavor to it it's creamy which is hashtag creamy as fuck mm -hmm. so good I don't know exact measurements, I was just playing around with the ingredients, but definitely I'm gonna put that on my ebook once it's released, but it should be there. I love this recipe. It's not completely 100% rock, of the Dijon monster, but you can make it from scratch. But I'll definitely be putting that on my ebook. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and if, and if you did, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me wherever you want to, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in a different episode. Goodbye.